Hello everyone and welcome to today's Logitech video which is going to be based on uh, something old and something completely new. Now a couple of days ago Logitech released a new let's say performance mouse which is called the MX Anywhere 3. Right here I actually have the old Anywhere MX which is basically really really old and you even got the leatherette some sort of a bag that you could place it inside and carry it like that. So without further ado, let's go into details and check out everything there is to know about the new MX Anywhere 3. So apart from the MX Master 3 that I got right here, that is really an incredible mouse and after using it, uh, I basically couldn't go back to the standard mouse that I used for gaming and editing and doing the performance and standard office work. Uh, basically this mouse is irreplaceable after that. Now before that I was using the MX Anywhere, the first edition of it which was quite handy and it had some nice features when it comes to switching windows that are already open and it really came handy and especially when I was uh, traveling and I had to have a handy mouse, this was it. Now today as I started the video we have the MX uh, Anywhere 3 which definitely brings something new compared to the first edition. Yeah, it does look cool. It actually looks pretty similar to the one but let's check we have the unifying receiver what we got here we got some papers and we got the USB Type-C connectivity very nice I like this so uh, Logitech is really moving forward with the connectivity part and not only with the wireless and <laughs> uh, advancing with uh, their connectivity when it comes to reliability I'm saying that they are finally evolving and placing Type-C into all of their wireless uh, peripherals. So this is really nice to see and I'm really glad that Logitech is going step forward even though they're constantly going forward, I have to admit that. Now when we're talking about the uh, MX Anywhere 3, we have the contoured form and ultra soft silicon side grips which is definitely a difference from the first edition because you have a standard holes right here which is also rubber or silicone but still a much nicer feel on the MX Anywhere 3. Now the sensor can track precisely even on glass. The glass thickness needs to be at least 4 millimeters otherwise it might not catch as it should and it might not work as it should. You can also seamlessly work on up to three computers at once and with the Logitech Flow cross computer control you can uh, manage profiles, customization and basically anything. Uh, also I would like to add that the MX Anywhere 3 has the mag speed ultra fast scrolling wheel which is really nice because from the past edition even though it does have a fast scrolling it depends how you press the button so you press the middle button and you get the standard scroll you press the middle scroll button and you get the ultra speed scrolling now here you have the same thing as on the MX Master 3 it's actually really easy to get used to the mag uh, speed uh, scroll wheel because for instance uh, if you're if you want to scroll faster you just scroll it down and or up it doesn't matter and after a while when you get used to using it you'll actually notice that you will just place your finger when you want to stop and I know it's kind of funny but 
it really is faster than the standard or the uh, older screw wheel it really does give an effect to everything that you're doing and it just continues on going and going and going and it's really cool to have such a screw wheel the one thing that i'm missing on this mouse is the left and right click on the screw wheel which is surprisingly strange because Logitech uh, didn't even place it on the MX Master 3 and I did miss that but right now it's right here obvious since the older version actually has it. Now it's standard when it comes to the MX anywhere to have two side buttons you have one button uh, below you have one button below the scroll wheel it's very slick design on the top so you don't have any uh, logo or you don't have any lines or anything written on the top except for the logi beneath the indication light uh, at the bottom uh, we have four large uh, mouse sliders gliders uh, almost the same as on the first edition but basically when you look at it they're in a bit of a different position uh, the one thing that i loved about the first edition was you just slide it and you have your mouse working here you have a different thing you have an on off switch which automatically be, turns on your mouse or off uh, when you turn the mx anywhere 3 on the lights here the indication lights for the computers or whatever you're going to use it for are indicating that it's not connected so number one is currently blinking because it's not connected to any pc uh, when you switch you can just press the button below the indication light and switch through three devices now you have a bluetooth connectivity and you have the unifying receiver as well which is really nice because then you can basically use it on three different devices or even switch with the Logitech Flow uh, cross computer platform. Uh, I think I already shown you guys how the Flow works. Uh, now the, the overall design is pretty nice. It's actually pretty similar to the old version. It just has some uh, differentiations in minimal design, which is quite alright. And when we're talking about main advantage of everything is that this mouse the first version needs two AA batteries and I won't argue about that because they were lasting for a fairly long time and these ones are about year and a half old and the mouse is still working on the same batteries of course I was using Duracell as always but uh, this one needs to be charged which also isn't a bad thing since you have a usb type c cable usb quick charge quick charge in one minute for three hours of use now imagine this you're somewhere uh, which isn't convenient for you or you're on the go and you do need to do some stuff really quickly and the mouse dies and you need a quick charge just to continue your work uh, one minute three hours of usage now this is really remarkable honestly because I don't think the uh, their last peripherals had that such quick charge and after that we have full charge lasts up to 70 days and of course that it all depends on the user All in all, a final conclusion for the Logitech MX Anywhere 3. I would say basically that uh, considering the first model of uh, MX Anywhere, uh, you don't get the leatherette bag, which is a really cool addition, even though, as you can see, it does really protect the mouse and uh, this one is really destroyed. But that's the only downside of this package and, of course, that the scroll wheel doesn't have the left and right click. Otherwise, the quick charge is really, really handy and uh, the size is somewhere, I would say, like a pocket mouse for office users or performance users that need something accurate 
and precise and basically something that they can carry around instead of their MX Master 3. Uh, the mag scroll wheel is magnificent. I'm already used to it on MX Master 3 and believe me it really does help with the workflow without a doubt. The button below the scroll wheel can shift uh, between the ratchet and free spin and the sensor goes up to 4000 dpi which is I mean quite alright. You don't need more for uh, performance usage and definitely is uh, something cool in addition to you can use it here there anywhere <laughs> basically that's it so guys thank you for watching i'll put in the links below for logitech mx anywhere 3 in the description you can check out all the details there uh, and that's all there is to it so thanks and see you next time bye bye